Webinar software is covering this one corner over here that you can see, so I can't get in properly. Uh, but it go to it's in there somewhere anyway. I can't remember. Uh, maybe Rick will remind me now. But basically, you just activate that plugin, and that plugin will be there. So, if we do a tight search for you to give you a better understanding of how you're doing, remembering that a tight search gives us the real truth about who your competition is and how well you are actually doing. And if we look here, let me take the pen, because I already know your stuff. We can see here that there you are, in fact, at number two. And there you number are, in one, fact, my website there, John. Okay, at number three with the videos, Daily Motion mm -hmm. and YouTube, just convincing us again how lucky we are to do that. John, have you got a site map, a video site map plugged into your blog? Uh, no, <clears throat> not a video site map. <clears throat> okay, then you need to do that, okay? Because you you can get your videos on your website to show up on this page, so you actually start battling with your own videos on YouTube and Daily Motions with the videos on your website. Okay. All right. I did uh, get accepted as a Google Author, John. By the way, a couple of weeks ago, Google Good Authorship man. Program that helped. Yeah. Well, keep 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 an eye on that for me on the on the case studies. I can see again that this is John. That's what it is. Okay, so you're a bit of a powerhouse, for sure, on that keyword. And it's a very competitive keyword, because it's one that um, I use. It's one that a few of my students are using. So you're doing well up there. And I see here that you're pretty much dominating that page completely. Mm-hmm. That's your you playlist. Like your playlist is showing up really nicely there as well. Yeah. Upper right-hand corner of the browser looks like a notepad. Go to tools. Okay, that's Rick just confirming how to put the browser on. Okay. So your playlist is where your strength needs to go. And he, and here's, here's a tip for you. You need to get backlinks. Everybody needs to get backlinks to their YouTube channel. And the best way to do that is through a playlist because it'll cost you less money. It's it, Unless you've got a lot of money in time, to do a backlinking strategy to each video can be costly, okay? But if your videos are in your playlists, then you can send that power back to that playlist and the keywords inside that playlist will give you power. So you need to do some backlinking, like an article that goes out, that goes one to your website, one to your playlist. Okay. Like someone who does a link wheel to you, but they actually do your playlist. So your playlist in YouTube becomes as important as the web page on your website. Okay? And just keep making, Yeah, and just well you get the replay anyway. And just keep making sure that every time you create a new video that that video goes into a playlist. Okay? That's important that it goes into a playlist. And then we will have um, I'm going to do a video training course on two video it's a software that I'm using called Covert Video Player and Vu Player, and and I'll and I'll show you the power you can give this playlist by using them. That that'll be out next week, so you're gonna love that. Just to give you an an, an added piece of um, power, okay? Because really? power is important because we want to make money, okay? Well done, John. The only the only thing I would say, and that's based on what um, I, I've been looking at your videos, is, um, and I'll share this with the group as well. I guess 2013 is going to be the year of the video. Now I know video has been big for a while, but this year is going to be the year of the video. It is going to take the internet by storm. The technology breakthroughs that we are having right now on video is extreme, and John was saying, and he's picked up on the fact that Google and YouTube can now read video. Okay, They can actually go inside that video and they can actually start to read the content that's in there. Now the technology has actually been around for a little while, but they've invested a lot of money into that. Um, and John was saying that the slower you read, that you, that you um, talk on your content, the slower your video is, the more likely they are to pick it up. It's not 100% true, John, that that works for you. And the reason for that is that at least 70% of the content in that video should be based on just the client, the customer, the reader, and it should have nothing to do with the search engines. 
uh, and what Google and YouTube can do. And if you do it the other way around, if you try and impress the search engines and Google and YouTube more than the punter, okay, the client, then all that's going to end up happening is they're going to get bored because mm -hmm. it becomes monotonous because you're trying to make your video slower and therefore longer and therefore it just don't seem to roll in. So, so yes, you, you've got to get Google that bit right. Like, when people leave your videos, people Google doesn't like that. It's like people walking out at a theater. They'll get rid of it. Yeah. So the bounce rate can hurt you. So you want your videos to be fast and flowing. You want your videos to be impacty on them all the time. And don't, don't, don't try and impress them by reading too slow. That's the only, the only thing that I would say that I've seen when I took a look at okay. your videos. Okay. You know, just, just do it the way you would normally do. Don't, don't try and be something else for the search engines, I guess, is what I'm really saying. All right. Okay, well done, John. You, you are living testament into how well my training can work if followed properly, and I'm, I'm humbled by that. I really appreciate your time on that. It's fantastic. You are Thank indeed, you very much, sir. You are indeed a, a true, true internet marketer. Okay, so I'm just going to go to our next question because we do have a lot of them. Okay, let's just pull them up. Mr. Bill Phillips. Hello, Bill. Take a look at the website. Esso County, California. What is the money-making element? Ooh, that sounds intriguing. Let me open up Bill. Mr. Bill Phillips. Hey, Bill, how are you doing, mate? Bill, can you hear me? Bill, Bill, Bill. Okay, let's go back to Bill. Bill must be away because his microphone always works really well. Mr. Graham Burt, how do you split the page into free to add the content below the video like you suggested I do on Tuesday's call? You're referring to this. Um, you're referring to this Graham, aren't you? The way I've got this split. You know what? That's a question for the webmaster. That's beyond my skill and capability. What I'll do, Graham, is you and I are going to get together soon anyway. So what I'll do is I'll take you inside the widgets and show you the widgets because this is done through a widget on your home page and it's just a code that's put in. So I'll show you mine and you can work yours out from there. Okay, mate? It's, it would take me too long to do that now in front of the group. We don't want to spoil the group's time doing that, but not as difficult as you think. And also, do you need to do that? Do you need to waste the time on that? Why can't you just have your videos sitting under each other, one, two, and three? Think about that. Why have I done it this way? Well, because this is the way my webmaster laid it out, and I didn't want to make any big changes. Okay, So that's why it's running that way. If you like it, cool. That's fine. We'll do that for you. No problems at all. Um, well, Phillips will go back to Bill. Oh, let's go to Jagma. Jagmon's question because he had a good question. Okay, so Jagmon, you said you need help in setting up your WSO, and you've said your website URL is what it is there, and that you have good response if you search by domain name, but the response is not all there by search with a keyword. Okay, so here's the thing. You're mixing up two things there, and let's just go to the whiteboard to show that. Your WSO, setting up a WSO, has very little to do with your website, okay? So you don't have to concentrate. This is your website here. You do not have to concentrate on how this website looks to do a WSO, a Warrior Special Offer, because your WSO is going to be in a different marketplace, okay, which is going to be the Warrior Forum. So you're going to promote and sell your product inside the Warrior Forum from your own page here. Once they pay, they're going to go to PayPal and they're going to spend money. Okay. Let's just do PP for PayPal. They're going to pay for PayPal and then they're going to go to a page that you decide upon. And that's going to be inside this website. It's not going to be on the home page. It's going to be inside the home page protected. 
So it doesn't matter what's on this. You could just have a big image of yourself if you want to and said, hey, this is me.